guys, this is a quick instructional video that we're going to do for our big Brembo brake kit for our E46 M3 chassis. Obviously I've got a, a front wheel hub here on the bench which makes it a little bit easier for demonstrating how it goes together. I've already bolted on the front rotor which is a 365mm 5000 series outer to a custom hat that we make. This is a right hand hub. So I'll show you how the front caliper bracketry goes together. But before we do that, I just want to show you a bit of a modification we need to make to the, the dust shield to the rotor. As you can see here, the standard caliper has a, an area that it fits into. And if we look at one of our front calipers here, you can see it's, it's a much bigger area that we need to get that into. So we chop down this line here, which sits parallel to this overlaid bit of tin here as a guide. And then there's a further little bit of cutting we need to do down in here, which is pretty self-explanatory when you go to fit the caliper on. So everything in line, pretty straightforward. You guys will figure that out when it comes time to putting it on. But if you do that first, you can then move on to the front bracket. So the right front bracket will look like this. And it has two three mil spaces on the back, just tigged on there and we drop that onto the, the factory holes there so that the ear sits in this area that we've made clearance for. Then we supply you a couple of 12 by 1.5 mil bolts that are 60 mil long, 10 mil socket head fittings there. Just make sure we have a washer under the head there. And then a couple of washers and cone lock nuts go on the bottom side. And we advise to put a little bit of Loctite on this as well, just to give that extra insurance that the bolts don't come loose, especially being a high performance application now that these are generally used for. So the nut that we supply is a 19 mil nut. And again, just a 10 mil socket head. So you get a couple of these guys handy and that's all you need to do those up. This can be done on the car, but obviously it's a little bit easier on the bench for us just to demonstrate the orientation of everything. That's not a 19, that's a 24. We'll try that again. Obviously not putting any Loctite on this time around because we're gonna pull this apart again and box it up and send this off to the customer. So we get the right hand caliper, which stands up behind the wheel and have the bleed nipples at the top. So that's how we know it's the right hand side. We've already installed a new set of pads and put all the hardware in to hold those and kept that nice and safe, courtesy of a nice Mighty Car Mods rag there. All right, we'll just sit him on there like that. All right, and that's how it sits. So if we have a look down here, you can see the rotor should come pretty close to the outside of the pads. We generally chamfer that outer edge as well, just bevel it because the pads sit off the rotor about a millimeter. And as that wears, it'll create a shoulder. So it's a good idea just to chamfer those off before you install them. To fix the caliper to the bracket, we've got some M16s. I think they're by 50. And again, just a washer under the head of those. you'll have just a couple of washers and cone lock nuts here and they're 24 mil in size. So I'm not gonna put those on, but again, it's just washer and nut underneath. And then you'll end up with the installed setup, which will look like that. And you just wanna double check that it is central to the center line of the rotor to the, the caliper. The brackets are all made the same, but just make sure that the installation looks correct when you've got it on your car. And that's pretty much it. 
you can run the Brembo brake wear sensors and wire them to your factory um, brake sensor wiring. That will still allow for wear indication. But I think it's good practice to keep your eye on these anyway and, and stay in touch with what your brakes are doing, especially when you've got an aftermarket big kit like this. It's good common practice to spanner check bolts and check over it and make sure everything's still kosher. So that's the front hub. And we'll set up and bring you to the second part of the video, which will show the rears going together. All right, guys, so this is the rear setup. And we've got a rear four piston caliper here. This is all right hand rear as well. This is our rotor that we'll be using, which is a 350 mil off an E92 M3. We have to modify, there's a lip that comes out past here and we have to machine this back because it will want to foul on the dust shield raised rib through here. Now, thankfully with an E46 M3, these are already big enough to allow for the 350 mil to go in. There are steps down quite a way on the 325 mils that come out on these. So that's a bonus. It means less work we have to do there. We do have to do some trimming like we did on the front. I don't have the piece to show you, but we've had to cut downwards because the, the caliper will sit down a little bit off the center. The top's all still standard. And you want to make sure that when you've got your rotor off that this is all in good condition and nice and flat and pulled away where, from where it should, or pulled, pulled away from being towards the rotor, which is where it should be. You might get some little bumps and scuffs happening through here if it's not in good condition. So just check that out. Stick the rotor on, give it a spin and make sure there's no scraping. So I'll turn this around and buzz the rotor on real quick and then I'll show you how the caliper bracket goes on. Even the locating holes that hold the rotor on still line up. You can reuse these, these two guys here. So now with this one, the first thing we want to do is actually install the rear bracket onto the caliper. So this is a right rear, and this has a couple of spaces welded on as well. And obviously the rear caliper sits behind the wheel and your bleed nipples are at the top. So first thing we do is install the bracket to the caliper. These are an M14 by 1.5 with a washer. And we've already pre-tapped these, so this becomes the nut. So this definitely needs to have a good amount of Loctite installed on it. And these just use a 12 mil Allen head tool. So the bracket's now on the caliper, which will make it a lot easier to put on. These guys here are tapped out to an M10 by 1.5, and you'll use your factory two bolts that hold your caliper onto these ears to put this on. I've just got a couple of Allen head ones here that I've had laying around. I don't have any factory ones handy to show you. So pads are in. That goes behind the ear there. Again, you want to use Loctite on these. Doing this by feel here, I can't really see what I'm doing, but I think that's in. And that's it. So again, we check our center line of the rotor to the caliper, make sure we've got clearance to the caliper. 
give the rotor a turn, make sure we're not touching on anything, which we're not. I'll just turn that around so you get a bit better view. There we go guys, and that's the rear one set up. And in the kit, which I don't have on the bench here at the moment, is a set of braided brake lines front and rear, which will go out with this one. So we'll pull this thing apart, clean it up, make sure we get any touch-ups required done on these and box them up and get them out to the customer. Hope you enjoy and um, yeah, if you're considering these brakes, it's something that's really well worthwhile doing. Um, all of our customers that have bought these and put them on the car, uh, track and, and street, have got nothing but good things to say. So well worth it guys and thanks for watching.